often get asked, do you need a UV in a reef aquarium? And it kind of depends on a couple of things. First of all, if you're going to use it to try and cure disease, don't bother. UV will have no effect on any of the common fish diseases that you see in a home aquarium. Things like white spot, brook and, and velvet will multiply far too quickly for UV to make any dent. And there isn't any categoric proof that a UV, or certainly at least a home UV in the home aquarium, is going to have any difference at all to those parasites. You'd need many, many hundreds of watts in a really long exposure time to have any kind of effect on anything as large as a white spot parasite, for example. UVs are quite good though for increasing water clarity and if you're looking through more than two feet of water depth into your aquarium it's something worth considering. So if you've got a fairly standard say 4x2x2 two two aquarium I wouldn't really bother because you're only looking through two feet front to back on the aquarium but if you find that say because of the way your furniture is positioned or it's in a hallway and you're often viewing the tank along the long length of the tank then a UV will help pull up that water clarity. You can also use fine floss, water clarifiers or carbon to have the same effect. But on a very large aquarium it can be worth using UV because it will save you a little bit of money on carbon and in the long run work may work out slightly more economic and slightly less work for you. If you're using a UV make sure the bulb is replaced every six months. After six months the degradation of the bulb will mean the UV is basically pointless. And bear in mind that large UVs can use a surprising amount of electricity as well. So make sure you factor that in when you're thinking about it. The best way of remembering when to change the bulb in the UV is when you do change the bulb, put a sticker on the UV unit giving the date of when you need to replace the bulb. Also make sure you always have a spare bulb on hand because otherwise when it comes around to that day you're not going to have a bulb there and if you need to go out and get one it could be many many weeks before you get around to getting it, buying it, fitting it. By always keeping a spare bulb on the in, in your house you can change it out as soon as it needs to. As soon as you've done that, get another bulb on order. They sometimes take a little while to come through, but they're fairly inexpensive, so having a spare bulb sitting there is very low cost. Also make sure you keep out a watch out for all our other reef keeping videos.